Hello, I am Kelly and I am the Mathematic Plumber and today we're in the gas lab and we're going to talk about how to clock a meter. So first of all, here is the hot water tank that we're going to clock. If we have a look at the rating plate, we're going to find out that this is an input of 38,000 BTUs. We're going to be using this meter right here to clock it to ensure that it's all set up properly. Right, let's have a look at this meter together. So we have this little dial on the left hand side here. This is called the test dial. This is a quarter cubic foot, meaning when it has one full revolution, uh, you've just burnt a quarter cubic foot of gas. The one just to the right of it is called the proving dial. And when the proving dial makes a full revolution, this particular one will burn one cubic foot of gas. That's all it is. So we're going to use the proving dial to do our meter clocking. So we're going to start up the hot water tank here and you'll notice the proving dial is starting to turn. Now when it gets to the very topmost position we're going to start a timer and then I'm going to shut up and just let it do its thing here. There we go. So we've started. All right, we are coming close and stop. Beautiful. Now let's do the thing that everybody loves, math. So for that one cubic foot proving dial, it took one minute and 36 seconds to make a complete revolution or 96 seconds. Now we need to plug this into our meter clocking formula. The formula is the proving dial divided by seconds times 60 minutes per hour times 60 seconds per minute times the calorific value of gas. So the size of proving dial is one cubic foot divided by our seconds which was 96 times 60 times 60 times our calorific value which is 1000 BTUs per cubic foot for natural gas. This is what it should look like. So after we do our meter clocking formula, we find out we have 37,500 BTUs per hour. Now, the rating plate on our hot water tank says this is a 38,000 BTU hot water tank. Now when you're clogging the meter, it doesn't always line up, or most of the time it doesn't. It's not perfect. And that's okay. What we're looking for is a, a fair discrepancy. Like if I got 39,000 BTUs on my meter clocking, then I need to start asking questions. So a couple places to look. First of all, before you do a meter clocking, ensure that you check and set the gas pressure for the actual appliance first. Now that's going to happen in a different video, so we're not even going to go into that right now. The other thing that could be happening is if your number is way off, you might have the wrong orifice installed in the hot water tank or furnace or whatever your appliance is. And yes, they can come out of the factory wrong. So sometimes you have to take apart the burner and check. Now, how we do that is once again on a completely different video. Well, that brings us to the end. Now, I hope you know how to clock a meter. Enjoy your day.